how to swap crypto directly within your trust wallet assuming you have a trust wallet set up and some assets in here if you need a full beginner's guide for a trust wallet i'll leave that down in the description from here we just need to press the swap button down in the bottom so press swap and we need to choose assets that we can trade on the same blockchain. You cannot trade assets from one blockchain to another. So you can't sell Bitcoin for Dogecoin. You can't sell Ethereum for Solana. They are different blockchains and they won't be supported here. But if we have assets on a chain, we can swap it. So the asset that you pay is the one that you have. And that's the asset that you're selling. So I've got some BNB coin on the BNB smart chain. So I'll press that one. And then it says, what do you get? So this is the one that we're actually buying. I'm going to search right here and I'm going to search for USDT. And then we have an asset right here. As you can see, these are all on the BNB smart chain. So USDT is the one at the top. That is Tether on the Binance Smart Chain, and so that's the one we're going to buy. Now, from here, we press you pay, just press this number here, and then choose the amount that you want to sell. This is the asset that we're selling, so I'll choose 25%, and it previews the swap for me. So it says that for every one BNB, there's around 245.9 USDT. We're swapping a fraction of that. So the provider fee here as well, if we click this information, we're using actually a third party right here. This is the third party that we're using. It's called Mimic. It's basically an exchange aggregator. So it takes your swap on the Binance Smart Chain and it uses um, you know, exchanges and exchange aggregators on the Binance Smart Chain to get you the best swap. So they're using decentralized exchanges behind the scenes right here, but they're just giving it to you in an easy to use fashion right within Trust Wallet. If you're happy with this exchange rate, we can go and preview swap. And then right here, it's gonna tell you which exchange they're using and how much you might pay. So from right here, you can see, you can see we're actually using one inch exchange, which is an exchange aggregator. So it's gonna get the best trade for us. And then slippage right here, max is 2%. This is the difference between the quote that you're given at the top right here. You can see it tells you, you should get around 19 bucks for this but the slippage here is 2%. So you might get a 2% worse trade when you press confirm. Now, if you're trading a very small amount, the slippage won't be very large at all. If you're trading a very large amount, the slippage might be a lot bigger. So let's just confirm swap there. And it says processing. If we click transaction details, we can see those details there on Binance or BSC scan, which is the blockchain explorer. I'll just press done for that though. So we can wait for that exchange to go through. If you go back to home, you should be able to see that that has actually happened already. So right now I've got less BNB in my account and now I've got a balance of USDT right here around $19, which is exactly what it said I would get. Now, if you've done that swap and you can't see the asset that you've just traded into, go up to the top right of Trust Wallet, click this, and then go to manage crypto and search for the asset that you know you just bought. So for me, it's USDT. So I'm going to search for that. And you can see the one at the top is on the BNB smart chain, which is, you know, what I wanted. Just toggle this on, right? So have this on. And then when that's on, that goes as a part of the list in your main page. So I just swapped BNB coin for Tether and it's right here. There is another way to do this if you want to check the best prices across exchanges. You can use something like OneInch or PancakeSwap, which are decentralized exchanges directly within your Trust Wallet application. Go down to the Discover tab, click that. And then from here, go down to the Exchanges. So we can scroll right down and you can see DeFi. Now, PancakeSwap is a decentralized exchange. One inch is an exchange aggregator, which just gets you the best trade around lots of exchanges. So let's press one inch right here. Now from this, we are using a decentralized app that we can use with our Trust Wallet. So what I'm gonna do is connect wallet. I'm gonna choose that I read and accept the terms, and then I'm gonna choose the network. I'll just use BNB chain for now. And then down here, I'm gonna use Trust Wallet because that's what we're doing. And it says, do you wanna connect your Trust Wallet to this decentralized app? So I'm gonna press connect. It read, reads my balances and it tells me that I have an amount of BNB in my wallet, which I do of course have. I'm gonna select a token that I wanna swap that into. Uh, we'll swap that into Tether again, like this. And it says, this is the exchange rate. This is what you can get. You can preview the swap. You can see all of it down here. So you can see the settlement fee is 22 cents. We also have an expected buy and sell price, as you can see, and the network fee. So you can use this to swap directly. If you press swap right here, you can use one inch exchange directly or any other exchange directly. Now, every time that you use a blockchain, you need the underlying gas token to pay for fees. 
So if you have US dollar tether and you don't have any BNB coin to pay for gas, you can't use the blockchain. So at all times, you do need to make sure whichever blockchain you're using, you have some of that gas coin in your wallet, whether it be BNB coin on the BNB smart chain or ETH on Ethereum or any of the other networks. If you're looking to swap your crypto for fiat currency, so selling crypto and cashing out, there's a different method to do that within Trust Wallet. I'll click on Bitcoin here to show you. Any crypto that you have, just click on the coin and then click more. And then down at the bottom, it says sell. Click this and you'll be using a third party payment provider within Trust Wallet. So I'll click on an amount of Bitcoin that I want to sell like this. And it says my best option is ramp. So what's happening here is that you'll be sending that crypto out of your Trust Wallet to this third party. They'll sell it for cash and then they'll send that cash to your payment method, which is a card, either Visa, MasterCard. So this is ramp. You need an email address and you need to sign up for an account with them with KYC. So you need to send them a, you know, ID card or passport. You do that, you sign up for an email address, verify your information, enter your crypto wallet, but you'll be doing that directly through Trust Wallet. And then they'll send that out into your payment method. You can see here, you can use these payment methods. This is convenient, but it is incredibly expensive. You'll be paying between three and 6% to do this in fees. What I would recommend is using a real crypto exchange. So sending your crypto out of Trust Wallet, trading it on the crypto exchange for fiat. You'll be paying 0.1% in fees for most exchanges like Binance, BitGet, Bybit, others like that. And they have decent fiat currency on ramps depending on which country that you're in. That is a better, me better method. I will leave videos on how to do that down in the description. I'll leave deposit bonuses for those as well because they even give deposit bonuses and trading bonuses when you sign up. You can check all of the details below. I'm James, it's MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.